Welcome gentlemen, in today's video I'm reacting to Alex Costa top colognes list. Apparently these are the best men's colognes. So I'm going to react and tell you what I think as a woman. Are they good? Are they not good? By the way, this is a men's colognes channel from a woman's perspective. So if you want to smell good, subscribe to this channel. Now I want you to be the best Let's smelling guy it. in the room. And the thing is, there are so many fragrances that. out there in the market right now that- Wow, that is a lot of fragrances. Wow. Okay, so this guy really like his it really likes his colognes. So coming from a guy that owns over a hundred fragrances, okay. I'll list the ten best options for this year. You simply can't go wrong with any of these. And yes, I will be listing all of them in the description below to make it easy for you guys to get your favorite. Okay, so basically he is saying any of these, like you can't go wrong with them. Everybody will like them. Let's see. Starting with number one, Tom Ford Noir. It's Okay, but I think this one is discontinued, isn't it? I think it might be discontinued already. So this is a 2023 list. Maybe they discontinued one and replaced it with this one. I did like the old one, the Noir Extreme. So really interesting. Extreme Parfum. Whew, it's like a gold bar, man. This thing is a beauty. Look at that. Look at that reflection. Really nice bottle as well, I agree. Reflection how nice this is and it smells incredible. It smells like the original Noir Extreme, which is absolutely beautiful already. I have it, I love it, but it's a tad less sweet and more smoky, more leathery, which means more. Ooh, what watch is he wearing? That is really nice. I think it's a Cartier. So that is one of the things that women notice. <laughs> one tip for you guys, but really nice Cartier watch. Really like that. But the fragrance itself, it's really nice. But this one is not something you can't go wrong with because it's quite a nuanced fragrance. I don't think everybody will like it. It's not like 100% amazing because it's got quite a lot of spiciness to it and a bit of oriental vibe. So I would say 50-50, you either hate it or you really, really love it more masculine. It's an amber vanilla fragrance for men, but because of the vanilla, I would say that some women might even like to wear this. That's actually true. I do wear it. So it's not, I wear like the women's version that they did. They discontinued the women's one and it was literally the same as the men's. So this is like, if you don't enjoy unisex fragrances, then you probably won't like this because yeah, I actually do wear the women's version of this if they like something a little bit heavier. Now, besides the beautiful amber vanilla smoky scent, which sounds pretty amazing, right? What I love about this fragrance is the fact that it will stay on your skin for a very long time. You can spray it before you go out and not have to worry about the scent just fading away pretty quickly. Oh man, it's... That's really good because I think women really enjoy fragrances that are quite strong. So this is one thing that if you want compliments for your fragrance, you have to wear a strong one. It's so good. I'm going to link it below. I'm sure you guys are going to love this one. Next up for 2023, I would say Hermes H24. Okay, this one. No, I think the new version of H24 is amazing. Okay, it reminds me of Amouage Beach Heart, actually, for men, which is one of the best like summer fragrances. But the original, I did a review on my channel of Hermes H24, really disappointed me. No staying power after 30 minutes. You can't even smell anything. The fragrance was great, but yeah, I sold it straight away, to be honest, because it just, I couldn't recommend it to you guys because you need a strong fragrance for women to notice you or for anybody to compliment you on your fragrance. And this one just doesn't cut it. Or is still gonna be very, very hot. As you can see, mine is almost done. It's a, it's a new fragrance. At least he wears his fragrances. <laughs> just came out recently. It's very fresh. It's this blend of floral and woodsy notes. And it creates this really great balance of freshness and warmth. Freshness. Which is, I love how he says freshness. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get. You know, it's not really an easy combination because freshness tends to be a little bit more sharp and then warmth is just a little bit more laid back and easy going. So it's a perfect scent for spring and summertime. Make sure to add it to your list. So Definitely a spring and summertime scent, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, go for the new version of H24. That one, whew, that one is just so impressive. I smelled it and I was like, 
I need to get it because the previous one was so so. This new one, mm. so that you can get it before spring time. He should Honestly, get it too. I cannot <laughs> wait for spring because your boy is gonna be wearing this a lot. Next on the list, Parfum de Marly Haltain. This oh yes, do you say it like that, Haltain? I don't know. I say Halta Haltan. Maybe you say it Haltain. I don't know. This one I do own, and ooh, it's a sexy one. This is for guys who want to make a statement. It's very rich. Like you spray this on, and immediately you get this. Very complex scent and I... It's very complex and it's quite like a wow factor. It's very strong, so I do agree with that. Love it. It's so good. It's so good. It's got a hint of spicy cinnamon and it's a, the sweet vanilla that... Uh, it's just amazing, man. The ladies love this too. My girlfriend loves it. That I agree with. I love it. Ever since I sprayed it for the first time, I was like... Wow, it's sexy and I've put it actually in my sexiest list because this definitely has that appeal to it. Loves it when I wear it. Uh, I get compliments from my friends. It's the perfect fall and winter scent. So if you're looking for something right now at this moment, this is the scent that you want to get. Now, the only problem is that Parfum de Marley can get pricey and this 4.2 ounce bottle here is going to set you back 400 bucks. So, you know, definitely not for everyone. If you're starting off your fragrance collection right now, I would say it's not for everybody, yes, but at the same time, if you're a guy that wants uh, to have a signature cologne and you want something very good, I actually recommend you getting Parfum de Mali from Discounters. You can get like way around it and get it from Discounters and then you can get it like half price. I, I also would recommend Leighton, for example, from Parfum de Mali and you can just stock it there and get just one cologne, but that is unique, amazing performance. Link down below for the discounters as well uh, for these. So you can get your really expensive cologne for cheaper. That is the trick. Oh, probably best for you to start with something a little bit more affordable before getting this one here. I don't actually necessarily agree. If you're starting off your collection, I would say invest straight away, unless you're like, at school and you literally don't have a job or you are getting your first job i would say if you have started a job you have money coming in just better save up and get really unique great colognes than get like loads of cheaper ones if you want to get some cheaper ones down the road sure do but i would say just go for it just find that unique cologne that you love because you don't want to smell like everybody else. Next, my baby. Wow, I love the scent. Padaloma. <laughs> Goosebumps, man. I'm not gonna. Ooh, he gets really excited. <laughs> to be honest, I can't really fault him for that because I get really excited about clowns. <laughs> but I've never seen a man to be so excited. So really good. <laughs> he should make more of these. Uh, no, this a really nice one. A really great. I wonder what he says about this one um, because I've got some thoughts. I'm gonna lie, I got goosebumps ah, just from smelling this thing. This is the cleanest scent that I've ever smelt. It's fresh, it's sharp. Fresh. It's, it's, um, I love it. Does that make sense when it's sharp? Like it's not a soft, soothing scent. It's like, it's. I would say it's quite soft. Maybe it's just me, but to me, this is a very soft, like cottony office sort of a fragrance. It's very soothing, actually. So I wouldn't call it a sharp in your face but it's maybe sharp as in like a white sharp sharply sharply done shirt i don't know it's clean it's the kind of scent it that a boss awesome. would wear an elegant man it is such an incredible scent and I it is very elegant as well so i do agree with that it's like a ceo sort of an office fragrance and i love this for any time i dress up especially in a suit if you're going mm. to a wedding ah a new year's party like th this is it this is the one next up but New Year's party, I would go for something a bit louder because like that is too soft. That is perfect for office, but I would go for something New Year's. You would like partying. There's a lot of people there unless you're like by yourself in your apartment on New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I would say for something. Yeah, I would go for something louder. Armani Code Parfum. And honestly, Ooh. I think the scent is underrated. I think this could be... Me too! Well done. I so far approve this man's taste. I don't know who he is exactly, but uh, yeah, on money code, I think it's very underrated. The new parfum is by far my favorite flanker from the line. And the bottle they've done, it's so upgraded. It's got the magnetic caps, the really nice sprayer. Ooh. A really good signature scent. 
for you guys who don't really know what to get yet. You know, like you don't really have a signature scent. So you're like undecided. Yeah, I guess. It's a very crowd pleasing cologne, but it does have some mystery to it. It's very like sensual, very like soft. You need something that's good, something that is long lasting, something it is long -lasting. that's not boring, but not crazy. Not a yeah, I do agree with that actually. It's not boring in any way, but it's not like some niche fragrance that your friends will be like, like this guy, I don't know what he's wearing, but I don't want to be near him. You know, in your face. It's not loud, but it is going to last you all day long. It's so fresh. It's so clean. Fresh. Reminds me a little bit of Prada Lome, but it's got more intricacies to it. It's a little different. It's not as clean. It's not as sharp. It has a warmer, dry. Interesting. I would love to know what he means by sharp because so far I don't get what he says like it's not sharp this is but at the same time maybe he means like formal i don't know down then prod alone it's nice and sweet it's not crazy expensive like you know creed or perfumed molly and honestly i think you guys will really enjoy the scent so if you're looking for a signature scent our money code perfume is a great option I would say it's a great one. And if you're bored of Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, all of these, then this one, it's newer. So not many people have it as their signature scent. And to me, like I would give compliments to a guy wearing Armani Code Parfum more than something so done like Bleu de Chanel or Dior Sauvage. So it'll be a bit more unique. Speaking of Creed prices, just because it's expensive doesn't mean that it's not good. It is. Legend. Yeah, that would be strange if expensive things <laughs> were not good. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a 10 anniversary bottle. He was one of the chosen ones by the PR. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> it's timeless. It's sophisticated. I mean, you can wear this to pretty much anything, day or night. And Very nice bottle. I thought it was a green Irish tweed because of the dark bottle, but... It's going to make you smell amazing. Amazing. Is it worth 400 bucks? That's the question that I get the most when I talk about Creed, when I talk about Aventus. In my opinion, yes. I'm a fragrance collector though. I have so... I yeah, this one is like, a, I don't know, if you've got the money, yeah, go for it. Creed Aventus is great. Actually, I've witnessed women's reactions being absolutely insane, like loving it so much. But there's so many dupes out there and with the inconsistencies of batches with Aventus, if I was a guy, I probably wouldn't buy it. But I love Creed, so don't hate me, Creed. But that's probably why I didn't get the 10th anniversary bottle. But um, yeah, I would say save your money and go for a dupe like Club de Nuit, Intense Man from Armaf, which I'll link down below. You can get it at like $40 for 100 ml, and it smells really just basically the same, a bit even sharper. Here I mean sharper, mean like a bit harsh, but in I think it works with that fragrance. I actually love the sharpness in that cologne. So yeah, and it's got longevity and projection, that one, and it's consistent, so. I have over 100 fragrances. Of course it's worth it to me, but is it worth it to a guy who only has three fragrances? And honestly, I would say yes. I would say this can be one of your three fragrances. It is. Yeah, it can, but to be honest, it's so done i don't mean like done so it's finished completely but so many guys are wearing this or a dupe of it i would say be a bit more original even get mont blanc explorer that one is a very uh, very similar fragrance to creed aventus but again cheaper and it's very sexy my husband gets compliments for it all the time so maybe don't spend your money if you're starting your collection on creed aventus creed royal wood though is such an amazing fragrance and you can save it for special occasions if you want but it's the type of fragrance that you can also wear to go get groceries man like it's it's so versatile and it's so so good it has notes of bergamot pineapple and birch which sounds weird but together it just works i wear this one all the time this is a 10 year anniversary bottle the normal bottle looks like this and um this is almost done which is annoying because <laughs> I really love it. And I, I really like this bottle too. Tom Ford Ombre Leather Puff Bomb. One of the- Oh yeah. Does he watch my videos? <laughs> We've got a similar taste. Ombre Leather Puff Bomb. Actually, I do recommend it in my videos all the time. The Puff Bomb version. I think it's slightly better than the original. Best leather fragrances 
out there right now. And there's a ton of them. There's a ton of leather fragrances out there. This one specifically, I just think it hits different. It's a sweet leather scent. It's beautiful. It is. I love how he accentuates his way. Cute. So, so good. I got goosebumps for the second time in this video. It's had, it's like this unique blend of leather. I would say it's not that unique, uh, but it's a great one. I think it's unique for the designer sphere of fragrances. I'll give him that. So it gives you some uniqueness for that price point, let's say. And it's a great solid leather scent. It lasts, it just is so masculine, just on point. Cardamom, oud, amber, you know, it's really masculine. It doesn't smell like a dirty old leather jacket though. It smells more like a- Yeah, it doesn't definitely. A brand new designer leather jacket, you know? This is a- It doesn't have to be des designer, but the new one, the smell of the brand new leather jacket. Ooh, that gives me goosebumps. Scent that I wear a lot. This is a scent that I wear when I go out. This is a scent that I definitely wear when I uh, throw on a leather jacket, when I have an edge. Yeah, that's the best when you combine the leather scent with actually wearing leather. That is dreamy. Like, let me tell you, if you haven't tried it yet, you'll be obsessed. People will be obsessed. Like, try it. Edge your outfit on when I'm trying to commend presence, when I'm trying to be like, I am here. I have arrived. This is the scent that you want. If you're going to a party, if you're going to a, an event where you want to stand out, where you want. I'd say yes, but um, at the same time, it's not uh, not that loud of a fragrance. I don't know how, how much he applies. Maybe he applies a lot, but this is a small bottle, so I don't know. But I would apply a lot of it if you're going to a crowded place, because yes, it's strong, but it's not that projecting. It's long lasting more people to be like, damn, that's a fragrance. This is the one. This, this little guy right here packs a punch and it lasts a while, like literally. It does last. Literally, I can smell this on my clothes the day after I sprayed it. The other day I picked up a sweater and I was like, wow, Tom Ford, Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. I can still smell it from last night. Aqua di Joe Profumo. This is a beautiful, beautiful scent. What is he going to say though about this one? This is an intriguing one because I think people are really have a polarizing opinions about this one. Now, I'm a huge fan of Aqua de Joe, the original. That was my... Okay. I used to be, but I think it's more of a dad scent. Like that is, yeah, you can't deny it. Favorite fragrance. It was my first fragrance ever, actually, when I was a, when I was a teenager, my mom gave it to me. And so this whole... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I wish I got like designer scents from my mom. Special place in my heart. But this version here is more elegant. It's more grown up. It's it is more elegant and grown up. See, I agree with some things, but at the same time, it's not like formal elegant, I would say, but it's more elegant than the previous one. It's more, I would say classy, right? Um, I think it's classy. I would maybe, I don't know, debatable. Because of this peppery kind of note that has been added to it instead of, I think uh, it's the patchouli he refers to because it is a bit peppery. It's really nice and deep, magnetic. But I actually would say that if you want to go more for a classy one, then don't go for Aqua di Gia Profumo. This to me is very masculine, very everyday, and uh, not classy per se. The more like, you know, aquatic, oceany vibe of Aqua di Gio, this has more pepper to it. So it's more grown up. It's definitely for men, not for teenagers. I think this here is great if you're a boss, if you work in an office or if you're Yeah, but I would say if you're a boss and you work in an office, Aventus is much more fitting for you. Whereas this, at least where I used to live, it was worn by everybody and their dad and brother. So if you want to project that classiness a bit more of that grown up you're better off for going something like uh, British Chanel Parfum for example that is classy and a bit more formal a bit more professional this is weekend dad going on holidays mountain climbing <laughs> just some random thoughts but that is kind of what I think of when I think about this fragrance is great but if you want an even greater version, the Profondo is actually a really great and more modern version of this one.
not a boss, but you work in an office. Honestly, a great scent for the office, for a professional setting in general. And I, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This you can wear this year round. You can wear it year yeah, round, true. and it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's a little heavier than Aqua Joe, but that's what it's all about. This next fragrance, it is boozy. It's beautiful. Is he holding what I think he's holding? It's grown up. This is Givenchy. Gentlemen Reserve. This is a. Ooh, I love this one. I love this one to death. I own a bottle, and let me tell you. Another one that, like Aqua de Jo Profumo, it's not for boys, it's not for teenagers, it's definitely more for men because of that boozy, sexy. It's definitely sexy. This one, definitely classy. <laughs> this is where the word should be classy, timeless, could be very formal, moody scent you know what i'm saying like you go to an upscale lounge you're drinking you know sipping on some whiskey maybe smoking a cigar it actually smells a bit this fragrance of like boozy whiskiness or, or maybe not don't smoke it's bad for you it smells <laughs> incredible regardless and i think it's an amazing fall winter scent but i will say definitely fall winter appropriate definitely hey, aqua de joe profumo is an incredible scent hence why the sales are so high why it sells so well this Maybe less so, but unique, beautiful, boozy. I love, I love the I would say if you want to really impress somebody, you're better off actually going with this than Aqua Di Gio Profumo because that one, just so many people wear it. It's so, people wear it too much. So if you're a guy and you want to, to impress somebody, you don't want to smell like their ex. You don't want to smell like their dad. And this, like quite a lot of dads also wear. It's just, you want something a bit different. And I always say it's better to go for something a bit newer, a bit of a fresher release. Just rotate your colognes a little bit more. I love Aqua Di Dio Profumo. I have nostalgia with it. But because of the association with dads, my dad actually used to wear it. Like it's just... Actually, Matisse, my husband's brother, used to wear it. It's just too many associations, you know? Like, it messes up with your head. The resemblance to, like, whiskey, and I, I really like the scent. It uh, goes really well with the sweater. kind of gives it, you know, this is the vibe for the scent. <laughs> I love it. We should do that much, uh, the fragrance to your outfit. The scent right here. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense, which is okay. the perfect summer fragrance. Hands down, I mean, this might be the best, the greatest, hot weather scent of all time. It's that is quite a large statement. I would disagree slightly, just because this, again, it's such a popular one. Yes, it's great. It lasts a long time for a citrusy fresh fragrance. That is super rare, so I would say go for it. But at the same time, there's so many more unique ones. And I know I keep saying that, but like as a guy, let me know in the comments, don't you want to smell unique and not like every other guy who's trying to pick up the same girl, for example, you know? It smells like I'm on a boat. It smells like, you know, I got a yacht and I'm just chilling in the middle of the ocean. There's a nice little cool breeze coming in and it's beautiful. And you, immediately you think of Italy, you know, south of Italy. True. He hasn't worn it a lot though. Mm. <laughs> this one, I think he loves his other ones more. I'd say this one is definitely aquatic. Definitely like the ad is all in Sicily on a little boat near like the coves of Amalfi or something. So it gives you that aquaticness. But it's actually very similar to Aqua Di Gio Profumo, which he also loves. So I'd say go for this one over the Aqua Di Gio Profumo because they both have aquatic notes and patchouli in them, which gives you that sense of like the depths of the ocean. <laughs> That's what I always say. So I would go for this one over the Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Really on the Amalfi Coast, uh, Capri, like this is what you think of. And even the ads are probably- See? <laughs> the ads work, guys. We all remember the ads. Probably shot there, right? The Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense is a beautiful scent. Highly recommend it. And all of these scents are gonna be listed in the description below, so make sure- Yes, exactly. This reminds me, all of the fragrances will be linked in the description below. I'll link some discounters for you guys because many of these you can get half price, you can get really good deals with. So that's what I always say. If you can save, then you can get two for the price of one. And then your collection is nicely built. What do you guys think? Do you agree with his list? 
or do you agree with maybe some of the things that I said? Let me know down below. Do you think this is the list of the greatest fragrances? Which one would you check out of this list and which one would you just never put on this list? Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!